Hello guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to locally install Open Devin on Ubuntu. Open Devin is a drop-in replacement for the closed source Devin project, which is an autonomous AI software engineer, which is capable of executing complex engineering tasks and collaborating actively with users on software development projects. This Open Devin project aspires to replicate, enhance and innovate Open Devin through the power of the open source community. Now, one word of caution, Open Devin is still in its alpha stage, very, very early days. It is quite buggy and still evolving, but still you can still run it locally and you can already sense its potential for the future. And this is one thing which I really like about AI that as soon as any closed source project is released, then the commun community jumps in and they create an open source free alternate of it. Now, having said that, let me show you how you can get it installed. But before that, let me show you uh, the working version of it, which I managed to get it installed after like 12 straight hours working on it. Uh, because it is still uh, buggy but i have managed to sort out the commands which are needed so hopefully when i show you the step by step demo we'll be able to run it but let me first show you so this is a backend of open Devin which is running which we need to run and then once backend is running we can run it from the front end now there are two ways one is gui and the other one is from the cli because I'm using the terminal version of Ubuntu, so I'll be using the CLI. But if you have um, the GU installed, it is just a matter of uh, opening it in your browser at on localhost port 3000. But let me show you how you can get it um, to CLI. So all you need to do is to run this command where you see I'm asking it write a bash script that prints hello world. And if I run it, then it is going to start the agent. It is, it's an agent tech software which uses agent so you can see it is using langchain agent gpt4 and step 0 is write a bash script that print hello world step 1 step 2 so it is going step by step sort of chain of thought and then you can see that it has written the script there how good is that okay so this is how you can uh, use it and you can run as many script as you want so this is how you run it. But now let's go to my uh, local system and then we will start from scratch. I will give you step by step instruction as how you can get it installed. And don't worry about the commands. I will drop the links to all the commands I'm using in the video's description. So let's get started. So this is my local Ubuntu server and you can see that I am running Ubuntu 22.04. I have one GPU card of 20 GB of VRAM and my memory is 32 GB. Also, you would need an OpenAI's API key for this. You can also use Claude or even open source, but I have tried it out with OpenAI. It, if you don't have the key, you would need to go to platform.openai.com. That's a paid account. Just put in $10 in your OpenAI account and you should be able to get the API key. Now, before I start the installation, there are a few prerequisites which you need to install. Let me show you what those are. Let me go to my notepad. So I already have them installed, but I have compiled the commands for you. Don't need, no need to copy the uh, commands. I'm going to put them in video description or link to them. First, update your operating system. Make sure you have git installed by using apt-get install git, install node.js, install npm, install the rest, and then make sure you install docker by all of these commands if you don't know what they are i have done few videos where i go into a lot more detail all we are doing it we are installing uh, downloading it installing it setting the instruction putting the checksum of it and that's it and then we would need the anaconda and these are the commands to install the anaconda and then we are installing uvcon uvcon is simply uh, an asgi or async server gateway interface compatible web server implementation for python so that is what we are going to run it okay so these are all the prerequisites which you need to do now once you have it then you need to go back to the github repo 
of that open daven let me take you there then scroll up click on this green button and grab this url because we would need to git clone this repo on our local system so let's go back to our local system and then from there let me first clear my screen and then we will go from there let me go to my ubuntu system clear the screen and then git clone and this open daven plus uh, press enter it is done and now cd to open daven now in this open daven if let me clear the screen if you do ls ltr you will see that there are a lot of files present now first thing you need to do is to rename this config.toml file to just config.toml file then open it press enter and here where it says llm api key you would need to replace this uh, thing with your with your open AI's api key so let me paste my open ai key here and then i will save the file and exit from here and also you would need to create this work space directory in the same directory i have saved my open AI's api key let's also create a workspace directory which we will be using for the workspace where it will be all uh, doing all the stuff about the thing about the prompt which we will be asking it okay so that's done once that's done let's create a conda environment so i'm simply creating an environment open daven with python 3.11 just say yes and we are going to remove the existing environment and because i showed you that i was using it earlier so let's create it just press y and it's going to override it that is done let's activate our new environment and then you will see that it will appear in parentheses here okay that is done i have adjusted the screen sorry about that so i just did this con activate open daven okay so once that's done now we need to make sure that docker is uh, working so just do docker ps and you can see that docker is there let's clear the screen and now we need to pull this public image of open daven so it is pulling the latest one it is it will pull all the layers so let's wait for it to finish it will take a bit of a time so let's wait for it to finish docker image is loaded now one thing you need to make sure is that you need to check your python version so simply type which python and we are using the anaconda's python and then also get python version so simply type python dash dash version 3.11 let's clear the screen let's specify our um pip env through so that we will be able to install the requirements it is installing the requirement so let's wait for it to finish that is done let's install the pip env and this takes a bit of a time let's wait for it to finish it installs a lot of things So that is done let's also install um, activate the shell with pip env and that is done you can see that base there and now let's run our backend and for that i'm simply running uvcon open daven let's press enter and let's wait for it to start okay, so you can see that our backend has now started now at this point uh, our backend is fine now let's go to the front end for that you would need to log into the another terminal so let me log into another terminal of the same server this is my another terminal let's first activate the conda environment so conda uh, activate open devil we have activated it and then we need to install all the requirements here so for that you would just use this command which will be using our previous pip env command to install all the requirements so let me press enter and you can see that it is installing all the prerequisites so let's wait for it to finish 
all the prerequisites are done let's now run the prompt where we are just passing it the main.py with our prompt so let me press enter and you can see that it has started the agent and agent is doing step 0 step 1 and then step by step it is going to write the uh, desired result for you and there are all the steps are finished so that's it guys this is how you install open Devin locally and play around with it you can also use gui if you like if you have gui enabled on your ubuntu debian system you can simply uh, once you run this front end with the command which i showed you you can um, simply go or i'll show you actually what exactly you need to do just open another terminal and then type these three commands cd to front end npm install we already installed npm and just do npm start and then you can access the open devin on localhost 3001 and then you will be able to see this sort of gui there which you can also check it on your uh, github repo which i will drop the link in the video description be sure beware that this takes uh, up to one minute or so in order to get start and bit heavy sometime it gets stuck or frozen because these are still early days that's it uh, let me know your thoughts if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thanks for watching.